<clears throat> Hello, girls and guys. Welcome back to another Mic on the Mic production. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope your uh, pistachios have cracked open just ever so slowly, just enough to crack them open easily with your hands. Not stab yourself like me trying to wedge them open with a knife. A combat knife that I don't know how to use. That I mostly just use to open packages from Wish.com and eBay. <laughs> Let's be real. And to feel like a badass. It's the purpose of a knife, right? You don't really, especially living in the countryside like that. Some fucking podunk ass state like Wisconsin. Scans it. Uh, but I thought I'd do a little commentary because I've been excited about some of the Black Friday stuff and it seemed like a good time to do it. And I've been loving this game, so. I don't know, whenever I read bad reviews and then I wake up the next day and I play the game, I'm just like, yeah, but I paid like 10 bucks for that game. <laughs> And it's giving me the amount of fun of like a $39.99, you know, like a fucking 3DS, but in 2023, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's giving me, it's giving me $45.79 worth of fucking value for 10 bucks, you know what I mean? So, it's, when it's like that, I just feel like a non-lifetime gamer doesn't understand but like we care so much about our games like we can almost review them objectively <laughs> like when we give a rating it's like better than when some little kid gives fortnite a 10 or some little kid says halo's a boomer shooter and it's a 5 out of 10 or so you know what i mean it's just like quake is bad coming from some guy like me who never played quake halo's better i'm not quake's bad and then you got me here in 2023 looking at, like, getting into Quake all of a sudden. Because <laughs> so I was watching one of the, some of the 1v1s on there, and I was like, oh, this shit looks sick. This is, like, fucking uh, Shadowrun. It's like a Shadowrun 1v1, except it's in 2023. Some things maybe I wasn't the happiest about when I was watching some Quake gameplay. Like, some matches seem like they have an overabundance on, like two-piecing people, like, you just, every kill is almost just, like, started with a grenade launcher. I'm not saying that isn't fun gameplay, it does, it does look fun, especially when they're, like, sitting there pre-shooting to these, like, crazy angles with, the, like, the guy who's getting, who's dying doesn't even know he's dying half the time. It's like everyone has overpowered brute shots on Halo or something. And they're all like practiced mouse and keyboard aimers with it too, so it's even more threatening. Yeah, but I've been looking into... I don't know, because I've been enjoying my using my new gaming mouse more, like... I just... Decided it's time to like go all in on the FPS stuff, like... I've done, you know, FPS my whole life, and it's like... But I've... You know, ever since Halo 3 lost a lot of its community, like, I feel like I've never re recovered from that, you know what I mean? And I'm just now, like, getting back into FPSs and trying to do do good things with them, you know? Win high skill matches and get my ass beat and aim training and playing a ver purposely playing a variety of FPSs even if they're not my favorite game, you know what I mean? Or I don't think they're my favorite game. And so I never gave them a shot like Destiny 2, I never even tried. The one thing I, if I had to rewind time and like describe some of my experience with Destiny, it would be like, because I did have a lot of fun with it, like the first month or two of Des of Destiny One, and then I never played the series after that. Like sometimes it felt like Halo, like you could, 
really control areas and stuff. And then other times it felt like Call of Duty, you just had like three guys sprinting on you and you get vaped instantly by just one of them. The fast kill time. And the aim assist and the easy aim and... <laughs> but I mean... That was just the beginning of the game and getting a feel for it and a little bit more time and I might have been controlling some areas way better and it might have felt even more like being good at it, Halo or something like that. It was definitely fun when you had big matches on like these huge ass maps and you just like hit like a bunch of snipes and you did the best in the lobby. Right when the game was like hype and like I'm assuming it had more population back then than it does now. I don't really know. I know it's still a pretty popular game, though. So. Like, if I can hop on and get a decent Destiny match faster than Halo 3, I'll be... That'll that'll win me over a little bit right there. I'm definitely going to give a bunch of these games a shot. i got to clear up some room on my hard drives and stuff. Or my SSDs. SS suck my Ds. The shotgun trial is pissing me off, so I think there's like a secret I'm missing, so I'm not going to do this anymore. I do want all those weapons, though, so. But the weapons they give you are really good, so it's like... I'm saving up my ores. Yeah, I like the world map on this game. And I do want to give a Quake game a shot soon. The, th the reason I'm making this commentary, though, is... I was just, I was playing like Dusk or something and, and I was trying to strafe to the right and switch to like uh, a shotgun or something and I realized I couldn't even do that on the keyboard because the keyboard isn't really made for gaming, you know what I mean? I think it's still weird how pros and every, everyone uses it though. And I looked online and they don't even have like custom keypads that are just like sort of like Azerons fused with keyboards. They don't even have those. <laughs> I thought maybe they would have something like that, but all they have is those mini like little gaming pads and those things suck. But there's not even that many keys on there. <laughs> I don't think these guys know how how many keys you need for some of these games. <laughs> some of the best ones and some of the hardest ones and some of the ones with the most skill depth, like, have so many keys, bro. Fortnite, Doom, pressing, like, 40 fucking keys. If you're just, like, pressing every key on the keyboard, you're, you're binding your fucking assault rifle to escape, <laughs> like... You got, your, you got a foot paddle for it, and it's got, like, five different... You gotta flip your foot between five different buttons. You're thinking you, know, you need so many keybinds that you're thinking about dual foot paddling. People act like it's not an issue because, like, some games you can just camp it up or you can take cover and switch your weapon and don't matter that much, but. Second, you're in these, like, tracking fucking battles. I don't know why someone on Quake wants to take their fingers off of WASD, you know. I bet a bunch of them don't talk about it, but they are, like, super good with their pinkies and thumbs. And then I was thinking about it, and even with, like, a better setup than most people have, like, my keyboard setup gives me more access to keys on my pinky and thumb. I only have access to three, what, three buttons on my pinky? Maybe four if I had trained it hard to do some crazy stretch button. And then, like... Six buttons on my thumbs, and that's more than most people. Most people, they can only access like four buttons on their thumb max, and that's with some stretches. So my my layout's better than most people. I'm not claiming I'm the only person who does this, but I'm saying it's still not a lot of people do it. I've only seen like one big person ever post about it. You know, I never, and then I never seen anyone else say it. That's why I always talk about it because I'm looking for other people who do it too. And it's like, it's not a problem most of the time, but 
I, I noticed in Dusk, like, the second it got hard and there was a boss that could actually kill me, I, I was instantly fucked. Because there's no- there's literally no way to strafe right and switch to your- some of your main weapons. Because- Because on your pinky and thumb buttons, you're gonna- you're gonna- Your thumb's still gonna be busy with jump most of the time. Just because the thumb has access to other buttons doesn't mean- you know what I mean? That means you can't jump and strafe and switch to your shotgun at the same time, which to the right. That's like a, a big part of the game. And yeah, I agree, you can strafe left and right really fast on a keyboard, but... I mean, you can strafe left and right really fast on a controller, you know what I mean? It takes the, the most game, almost every game it takes, you don't just instantly go super fast the other direction, you know what I mean? You're losing, they act like you're losing like crazy amount, and I just, I don't think a lot of these keyboard players are even a little bit good on controller or something. And then you have the other problem where on, on keyboard, you have to move your finger off of W and S, and they just seem to ignore that, like, like strafe peeking, is, they, there's literally like, I was looking up, uh, clip YouTube videos and Reddit posts and and stuff about the Azeron and there's like always these like people who like I love the Azeron there's these like keyboard warriors who use keyboard their entire life probably grew up playing Quake moved into CS CS and stuff and they like think they have the, the like CS players are so fucking annoying bro when I listen to some of the shit that they say. That's why I haven't played the game and gotten back into it. Just because listening to them is, like, disgusting sometimes. You guys gonna say a game with a kill time on, on players that's, like, instant? Like, you just die in one bullet? It takes more skill than a lot of these other shooters, you know what I mean? I'm just not seeing it. I mean, I went on the... Sw these sweaty-ass fucking Counter-Strike lobbies... On PC with a ex with a shitty ass slow turn Xbox 360 wired controller back in the day, and was destroying mouse and keyboard players with with a no aim assist controller. So I mean, and I bet there's a lot of people who do that too. So, so if the if the primary group of sweaty weirdos is saying that strafing left and right is the most important thing in the world. On a game, on their, cause they're, cause it only matters in their one fucking game where they have a single, a single bullet kill time. So all you do is strafe peek. If they're the only ones saying that the Azeron has a flaw, a big flaw, I think that's a, a, a good thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> when it comes to like performing at the highest level for a lot of these games. Besides, most of the time, if you're really good, you can hold the forward and hit your fucking shot, baby, you know what I mean, so. And some of the best shooters, right? Halo, but Destiny's like that. Apex. You, you zip in there and vape them, what are they gonna do? Fortnite. I'm not saying Counter Strike's bad. I, th I I remember having fun on it when I played it. I I could have got more into it too as well. It's just at the time I'd rather had rather play Halo and other games. But it's not how to rip on Counter Strike. I just seen that argument so many times over the years. That, like literally like 15 times. I don't even look at like Reddit posts that much or like YouTube comments about this shit. I just seen it like looking at other shit and it pops up. Someone's talking about how how important it is that they can strafe left or right, and how much better keyboard is than than an Azeron joystick. And I'm just like, I don't know, bro. I played Fortnite on that thing for like two weeks, and I was on the cusp of beating anything I had, any gameplay I had from the previous two years. I don't even know if I had it for two weeks. I might have had it for like a week and a half. And that was the inferior original Azeron that has worse switches and probably worse design that we don't even know about as casuals. In some way. Less adjustable. Probably harder to repair as well. In some way. I'm just assuming a lot of stuff. I'm you know, not that that product was bad, it was really fun to use. 
I think there were some things about the original Azeron that I would want back, as those extra buttons that hang above your fingers. I've, I don't know, I found those really easy to comfortable, comfortable press pretty quickly. Like, at first it felt like the weirdest thing ever. It just felt like I was pressing, like... Uh... Some, like, toy. But then when you got used to it and you got a finesse for it, it didn't feel bad at all. It's a good extra button. You put like a non-important keybind on, actually. And then, yeah, that, that's what I was really looking at was like, if you and if you're playing like most people, you only have access to like three buttons on your pinky and the caps lock is shit to press. So you really only have access to two buttons, control and shift, and you can't really press them at the same time easily. You could probably train yourself, but that wouldn't, that would probably throw off the rest of your gameplay. Because you're distracted, like trying to to hold two buttons down with your pinky or something. I'm trying to sprint and then slot with them. You know what I mean? How many how many how many gamers have gone through these problems where they come up with thumb solutions? Basically, a lot of them probably crouching with C or V or something, and the, and the, with a normal. I don't know, I just feel like if they really want to see how good they can get, why, why not try to play with less compromises to your gameplay, you know what I mean? Maybe you don't have to strafe peek around corners so much then. Because your movement isn't shit, because you, you have to take your finger off of shit every time you want to switch to a weapon and prepare for somebody rushing an angle or something. All the, you know what I mean, it's like, obvious which one's better. And then you have the fact that even if you did map some of the movement buttons onto the onto the keypad of the Azeron, you you still have access to more ready to click keys than you would on a keyboard. You know what I mean? I'm probably going to try both of those. Those are going to be like my two main setups. Like having some of the movement on the keypad on some of these games. Anyone that like doesn't have an insane number of binds. And then also like just playing normal with the... With like... Uh, using the joystick even on a WASD game and then... I'm assuming it still works at least somewhat in a lot of these. At least serviceable, I don't know. These people are acting like your gameplay is like heavily impacted by some. I I th I think some of these boomer shooters support like yeah. Like, see, I'm using a controller and a keyboard at the same time. I don't know if this would fuck with the game, but theoretically, I could use this Azeron on like any of these games. I know this game doesn't have a multiplayer scene now. I mean, you could probably still have some fun on it somehow if you found some friends, but... Or easily if you found some friends, I should say. I just don't see myself finding Proteus friends without looking really hard. Um, But you kind of just gotta wait for the next retro game that's good the next retro fps and get into it in the first year that's really your option you know what i mean if you're looking for like fresh blood if you're looking for like to get into a big like somewhat big you know uh like new community with a retro style fps like Seems like Doom 2016 is dead, so that that was like my the only good option that I thought was maybe still alive. But you could probably still get some games on there. That game was really fun, or maybe you could still set up your own matches. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that game. Now that's like life living with regret, you know, I regret not playing that game more because now that it's gone, I, I want to play it. I'd like to make some montages for that one. Yeah, but that's that's my Azeron commentary pretty much. And we'll see how these things hold up and see if I can man up and learn how to repair some shit for once in my life. <laughs> 
And hey, if, if I try my best and I have to repair something and it works out good, I'm gonna be grateful to the Azeron people for learning, for helping me learn how to be an adult, you know, a little bit, you know what I mean? Buying something, investing into it, fix, staying there long through any problems that might come up, kind of thing. And I get to have fun. <laughs> I was almost debating buying two Azeron, so I had unlimited keybinds and I had some weird setup where I don't even know what game I would play on that. Halo wouldn't work right, so. That one handed Azeron controller looks pretty cool too, though. I almost want something like that, but it's not a mouse. You know what I mean? I like my gaming mouse. I'm not saying that thing's probably great, but... Uh, I almost want something that resembles that a little bit more as well. <laughs> that would be fun to use on some games. Probably have that in your left hand, and it would have like a joystick and a bunch of little keys like that. I'm surprised they haven't done that already. Like a hundred and fifty dollar like key like keymaster keypad, Azeron Keymaster or something. I don't know what you call it something cool. I've been recording this. No oh, man. <laughs> no, it's uh, if I sat there talking like my trying to make a nice commentary, and then I just that's happened to me before I I'm not recording. player like me should probably just buy some of the repair <laughs> repair equipment of the Azeron while I'm while I'm at it, you know what I mean? Although I've made this PS5 controller little control <laughs> last pretty good. And now is the moment you you regret not buying three fifty dollar purple PS5 controllers off a of Newegg or something either, for Black Friday, because that's a lot of value. You know what I mean? That's like the price of two controllers normally. You get three of them, and if you got lucky and one of them lasted a long time, you know, you might be sitting on two fresh controllers for for a long, long time just for hundred fifty. Makes a lot of sense when you, if you're really into gaming and it matters that much to you. Otherwise, you're just like normal person and you. You'd be like, I'll 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 pay for it if it breaks. You know, I'm not gonna sit here with a bunch of backup controllers to a backup to a, it's already a backup for a backup. You know? Yeah, I really like the Creed controller that I have, but the guy seems to abandon. He probably still help the the people who did buy the Creed controller, which would be nice. I bet he would seem like a nice guy like that. Not that we even need help though. It was pretty easy and well done for a single man project for sure. Guy clearly knows a lot of stuff. Not only designed the controller, that was a, is, is an awesome fucking controller, one of my favorite ones I've ever used, but he also sold it at a good price, and it's easily repairable. And he made the software for it that works well. That's a lot of years, you know what I mean? It's good luck making the software. Oh, and then good luck being the person who can make the software. And then, and then good luck being the person who actually goes through with it and sells those controllers to people. And then, but good luck having those controllers be awesome and sick like they are. You know what I mean? Oh, 10 years, 10 years. It's literally like two decades of you could tell of good. You could tell the guy made good decisions in his life. 
I didn't think about it that way before. But... Yeah, there there was some decent Black Friday deals, but. thing about building it like it, it's exciting to build a new computer on Black Friday but it's also like not that great <laughs> you're kind of just lying to yourself like it's not like you're getting some type of crazy deal when you you're pretty much just getting like what 50 bucks off a processor maybe and you could also just buy the processor used or open box on eBay or sometimes even cheaper if you risk it and buy it from China I don't know, you might get lucky and it's a perfectly fine processor for an extra like 30 bucks off because China sells them cheaper, I guess. I don't know. Seems like it's better now just to like use, use the shit out of the, whatever computer you have that's decent and if something does, does really go wrong with it, then like then worry about it. There's, there's just so many fucking used options. Like, you could literally buy a graphics card that goes bad and somehow you don't get your money and, and then you spend an extra $300 on that computer and you, it still probably wouldn't would be worth it to, to keep trying to be a smart used shopper, you know, or, or you know what I mean, or eBay, a smart eBay shopper. I wonder if I would have made money if I just bought like a couple processors on Black Friday and then sold them on eBay after for like 20 bucks extra or like 30. Is that scummy? I don't know. It seems so easy because they're selling a $300 processor for like 170 on on Newegg. So I could definitely like try to sell that for like 230, 250. And they might sell pretty good on eBay. I don't know. In like a couple weeks. I believe in the brand. And I believe in making money off the brand. Is that what they do? Is that what, is that what like, they like try to, they get people to sell shit for them? <laughs> By, you know what I mean? I feel like I just stumbled onto something that I, d I don't know, I don't know enough about and some economics fucking master. Economics. We'll be like, you don't even know the half of it, son. Yeah, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of these shooters and any other game that seems like it would be really fun on the Azeron. I was thinking about playing Elden Ring and some other games like that. Third-person action games, maybe like Liza P on the Azeron if it's possible. Well, I mean, it's got to be possible. Because you can literally, even if you had to... Because obviously that game's going to work for keyboard. And then you could just use the Azure on like a keyboard if you really had to, if a game didn't work that well with the joystick for some reason. I just have a feeling I'm not going to mind the joystick, because I remember using it on Fortnite. I know Fortnite was like made for it, but... I guess a lot of Azeron users are just wishing more more games like were made for that type of input, you know what I mean? But we'll see, maybe a lot of them are will impress me, like I don't know if Destiny is going to work well on Azeron, I don't know. Because I'd like if my experiences on that game went well. Maybe that'd be fun. If 
Pretty sure the Azeron works really well on Fortnite again. I know for a while it didn't... The movement wasn't quite working right. But that was, that was kind of a long time ago now, actually. Boom, eternal. <laughs> That'd be funny if somebody made like a fucking game that was actually better than Doom Eternal somehow and I was like called Boom or Boom Eternal or something. I'd buy it. But yeah, we gotta play some Proteus, eh? Can't sit here and try to. I, I just want that Azeron now. I'm wasting my time away. I gotta get going. And not that you, I'm not saying you can't be good, you know, if you listen to my whole commentary, I'm not saying you can't be amazing on the keyboard, I'm just saying. If I'm dying to the second boss in Dusk because I can't strafe to the right and switch to my shotgun, and I'm a guy with better keybinds than 95% than of people. And yeah, I know I could, like, you, like, these people, you think you're gonna double bind, like, Ten different guns? You know how many keys that is? You don't have enough keys for that, you know what I mean? So then you're like, well, just double bind your most important guns. Well, all the guns are important, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's a boss fight and I need to circle strafe around him and I need to switch to, to my fucking... I just have a feeling like I could probably play Counter-Strike with a joystick on there and probably be pretty good. I don't know, like, I, I loved gamers and everything, but I don't know how people could be into that shit, you know? I'll probably end up giving that game another shot just to <laughs> prove that I could be good at it, too, and so still say that. Shit's gonna get real here. I gotta use my, my extra mouse buttons better too. I don't know if the use key is worth putting on that button. It's probably absolutely not the button I should have on. It's too easy. I need to put that for like a, a main gun, not not my U. Just want to be able to strafe and switch to my guns. At first, I thought this game like would be kind of annoying to play a little bit because you had to like hold a button to sprint and then. Not that I didn't completely dislike that, or not that I completely disliked that, I mean, it was kind of nice. I need some work on my mouse keyboard. I think I'd be really good after like a hundred hours of intense training on like some of these boomer shooters and and Fortnite. I can't stop saying that name now. Whatever, that's what we're calling them. 
It's funny. It's not funny for me, but it's funny. <laughs> Isn't that how life usually goes, though? Gotta find humor in the stuff that shouldn't shouldn't be so funny for you. I don't know, bro. I want to play the multiplayer for this game. This game fucking schmoobs. Hopefully, I can find some multiplayer buddies for this game. Hopefully, it's all it's cracked up to be. I know. I know the main rule of shooting games that most people don't know, because I've spent my life playing these games, though. It's only as fun as as good as you are, you know? However good you are, that's how fun a shooting game is. But that doesn't mean the journey to getting good isn't fun, either. If you, if you decide to undertake that journey. Do I look cracked? I don't know, I feel like... I feel like I'm a little bit cracked, bro. <laughs> For a guy who never played mouse and keyboard until a little bit on Fortnite. A couple of months on Fortnite. And then I haven't touched it in years. <laughs> it's like a guy playing like easy on campaign and he's just like... Talking about how good he is. Hops into a lobby on Halo and gets clapped by random dude 599. Man, I thought it was cracked, bro. See how, see how cracked I was? I should change these keybinds, but I'm stubborn now because I'm used to them a little bit. Actually, I'm pretty used to these now. Oh, God. Oh, that door closed. Maybe I do want that use key. How fast can I open this? No, oh, I didn't. I didn't turn around fat right though. I don't know. Quake looks. The more I look at Quake, I, the game looks kind of fun, bro. And now that I have this Azeron, I want to figure out if I can make this like something that's really good. Yeah. So what was I saying before about? And you, you like might not even need to bind. If you did put some of the movement keys on the Azeron keypad, like, I don't think you would need to bind, uh, like, up or down. Like, you could put one of those, at least, like, forward or back on the joystick, too, I feel like. I think people are just afraid to experiment with their gameplay, you know what I mean? It's funny how attached these nerds are to their fucking gameplay. I think that's the reason why I've always, like, excelled. Is because I was always, like, willing to try, like, a different control scheme or different sensitivity or different input device or, you know what I mean? I didn't care if my skill all washed down the gutter and I wouldn't be seeing it for after until months more of practice. It didn't matter to me, you know? I tried a bunch of different elite controllers and try to claw even though I never clawed in my life. Took that seriously for a while. I still do some games claw. Mostly like casual shit like Dark Souls and stuff. I don't know. Well, that's just how I feel about it. Not that those people who want to protect their skill aren't good players too, but... Jeez. Because a lot of these guys are like reporting back false information, you know what I mean? Because if that Azeron works for like 10, 10 different shooting games, if it works for Destiny and Apex and Fortnite and if I can get it to be serviceable on Halo 3. I mean, that's a lot right there, you know what I mean?
just feel like there's going to be no way that a keyboard is just straight up better for Quake. You know what I mean? Especially if it's not a 1v1 and you have like multiple people to, to worry about. You actually have to keep moving forward a little bit more. You can't just camp an angle with a with a grenade launcher over and over. Like a lot of these Quake masters think they're so good. I bet I'll hop on that game and I'll be surprisingly good at it like instantly. I'd never play the game in my life. I'm trying to think like what other shooting games I'd want to play though. That's why I wish a couple. I wish Proteus' multiplayer had some people. Because this would definitely be one of them I'd want to play. And I wish Doom Eternal had multiplayer. I bet there's a lot of people that feel like that. Well, I guess I can play what I got, but. I think I'm just in a lull for shooting games like I want. Like, Fortnite came out, like, a long time ago, and Apex looks pretty f fun, and I played some of it, and it was, some of it was decent, some of it was just, like, dog shit. Like, we're getting thrown into lobbies on our first, second game, where these players are just fucking incredible. Insta-vaped seven, seven lobbies in a row. No chance of doing anything. Obvious, like, teams with extreme comms, like, instantly murdering you and shit. It's like, holy fuck. This is, like, like my third game on the game ever, <laughs> you know. What the fuck? I'm a guy who played shooting games my entire life. It shouldn't feel like that, you know what I mean? On my third game on. Seems like something's wrong with the game, then. I know that game has like a little bit of a learning curve when but I mean still like the people I did kill in a few matches I played I fucking lasered them you know what I mean so I clearly can do what they're doing That's another one of those games that would probably be fun, but you would need the, the perfect fucking team for it to be fun. The perfect team of fucking elite badasses who are all into the fucking game and they train and shit. That's all they fucking care about. That is probably a fucking hoot and a holla. It's probably fun as hell. Just get to go around the map and do whatever the fuck you want and be king of the world. Yeah. Hmm, praise you, weird little 17-year-old douchebags party up with your fucking no-life friend. These people have partied up the world so much on this multiplayer in the last five in the last five years that you have to like become a if you really want to play these games, you have to become like a swimmer fish who's always trying to fucking leech onto the next group of next school of fucking fish. To follow Discord communities and get yourself out there and find a bunch of fucking friends and maintain those friendships like crazy and try so hard to play with people all the fucking time and they don't admit, admit that dark side to everything they're doing, but a lot of those gamers are fucking like that, bro. I encounter them on a daily basis. They're L dancing on me on Fortnite because I'm shitting on them in a Team Rumbles match <laughs> alone, and they got like two buddies running in against me like. They're partied up in Team Rumble, like, you fucking weirdos. Never done that in my life. Never, I don't even think I've ever played a Team Rumble game with one of my friends on Fortnite once. And I played lots of matches of squads, the hard shit.
Well, anyway. I swear there's like some other shooter I might be forgetting. But... Well, it's going to be interesting to see, like, how my opinions change on this thing, you know. It would have to really break a lot for me to get mad at it this time. Because I'm kind of down with the idea of spending a couple bucks and repairing it. Learn how to do something, you know, that sounds fun. But... Yeah, as far as how well it works on a lot of these shooting games that I want to play, I don't know. Get mixed reviews from these Quake guys. I don't know if I could trust them though. You know? There'll just be some dweeb who's too addicted to mouse and keyboard to really get into something new. Holy crap, where'd you guys come from? I want to only use shotgun, I'll waste some of those bullets. I trained my aim, dude. You're going down. <laughs> I'm finally getting into this shit. We're gonna fucking slay. My whole life has been leading up to this moment. Ah! Lava! You guys standing like you're threatening. I don't know, people are saying Dusk is better than this game. I like Dusk, but I don't... <laughs> In Dusk, when an enemy is like on a different level than you, it won't even come after you on this game. These motherfuckers dropping down on you and shit, you know what I mean? I feel like... People just have shit opinions on everything. Besides me. <laughs> None of you guys are really gamers, you're just fakers who want to fuck girls and get money. And the, the games are just a side distraction for all you faker fucks. I'm an actual gamer. A life dedicated, long lived master man. Of the long, long, longs. <laughs> I'm having a good one, baby. Proteus is nasty. You just got. You, got, you guys just ain't as cracked, bro. You just, you think you're his crack, but then, then you get in a match of Halo against me and you get fucking, <clears throat> you get fucking laid out. You get sniped 20 times and you never play Halo again. The Mike Tonimo effect. I love keyboard too. I, I'm still gonna use my keyboard. I'm just saying. I think I can make the Azeron straight up better. So that I can. And if you use this Logitech G5, you use the Logitech whatever. I don't know what it's gonna be. <laughs> That's like the most hick way to describe a gaming. I use the Logitech whatever. whatever. <laughs> What's its face? It's not like my buddy Patrick or somebody trying to explain. Mouse and keyboard gaming for the first time. 
I don't have no excuses to sound that bad, though. It'd actually be cool to... I want to see, like, this gun's 3D model and shit. If it has one. If they come out with a couple boomer shooters and, and any new shooting game that, like, really has sick graphics with ray tracing, like, any new shooting game that's, like, something up my alley, a really cool campaign, or a multiplayer that looks really promising, I'll definitely risk it all and buy, like, a, a better computer and try to go hard with that game and content for it and everything, but... There's no reason to do that quite yet, so I'm gonna hold out. And when I do that, I'm probably gonna buy some used parts, so take a little risk on that, but it could could pay off, and even if it doesn't, it's not gonna be too bad. So that's the that's my plan now. As far as like Black Friday buying stuff, new plans for the channel and stuff. I think all of the strategy games got me really, like, wanting to play some more active games, like platformers and shooters and stuff, so. And, like, Dark Souls and those kinds of games. Action y games. I gotta train my aim, bro. I wonder if, like, how good my aim would be if I, like, actually sit there and do aim trainers along these boomer shooters, or if I just play these boomer shooters on, like, hard difficulty or something, and try really hard to get better. Like, I wonder, you know, what, what would be the better option? Maybe I should do, like, a little of both. And then I could, like, once I feel like I'm warmed up on mouse and keyboard and playing good again... Like when I was probably at my peak for Fortnite. Um. I lost my training track of my thoughts. Yeah, then we'll start playing some uh, multiplayer. A little bit more on Fortnite. And uh, whatever else we can find. Probably some Destiny. I'd really like to play this game, I feel like. Because this game feels like a lot like Doom 2016. I didn't know it was going to feel this uh, solid. With indie games, sometimes you get worried like the with the price, and you're like... You think something's not going to be right, and then it ends up being so fun, and it's like, oh, that's why all you guys are giving it positive reviews. <laughs> Because you're giving me a, a $40 experience for 10 bucks. Sadly, that's what some of these developers have to do, I guess. If I had the money, I'd like to pay, you know, these guys more. Also, a perfect shotgun shot kills those guys. Oh, what the hell? Let's go. <laughs> it's like, it's like an easy-ass secret, and you, like, get a little bit too excited about it. I love doing that for some reason. It's like the nerdiest thing. This makes me want to play some Ion Fury, but I kind of... I like that game, but I think I like the graphics on this game a lot more. Because <laughs> those are like stuck on that old um, fucking engine. And they, I just... These are like easier to look at, if that makes sense, even though sometimes the enemies can be like a pixely mess. Let's, let's play with a pixel mode on for a little bit. Oh, you can change the difficulty? Fuck. I feel obligated to switch to, I'm having fun, though, on this. We'll, we'll try hard on some games when I get a little bit... A little bit better. And the other thing is... If you did want to have super fast strafing, you could theoretically just bind, like, left to the Azeron keypad, right? And then... Not right. Uh, but just left. And then... Whenever you want to strafe left and right, you just buffer inputs with the joystick to the right. And I feel like that would just give you the same effect as a keyboard being able to... Back and forth on the 
A and D or whatever for normal people. But whenever I press for cool people. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a shade because these people I feel like they describe shit horribly and they don't try hard enough to make their devices work. You know, that's just how I feel. I was playing on the Azeron I was playing Rayman Rayman Legends on the Azeron keypad with one fucking hand. Like that was felt so, so fun. I mean I wouldn't want to play the whole game like that because it's a lot of work for here one hand to, to play that game to play that game for on and off hours and hours, but it's definitely fun for an hour, you know what I mean? Like, imagine playing Cuphead with, with like, one hand. Because you could, you could do that on the Azeron, right? Easily. You would just... I don't know if it would work on that game, though. That's, that's the only thing. I, I'd assume it would. It's a pretty... That would be... That might be the play, bro. Playing a couple... Playing through, uh... Cuphead and like using box controller and the Azeron. The keyboard even. That might be that might be fun. I haven't played Cuphead on my YouTube channel either, so that'd be cool. And then there's that DLC as well. That'd probably be fun for a bit. If not rage inducing for a bit first. Um yeah, there's just a lot of options with the Azeron now. I think that's why I... That's the ultimately the reason I decided to go back to the Azeron was... There's a... Uh, you know, back then it seemed like there was only Fortnite to play on it, but... Nowadays it seems like there's a lot of good games. And if I can get it to work for Halo, that'll be, like, huge for me. Halo and, like... I need one of these Doomer shooters to fucking... Have multiplayer again. Because <laughs> you're pretty... I don't know... What's the most popular arena shooter? Like, is it Quake? This game would be sick. I don't know if there's anyone left on Doom 2016. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. To, I'm going to keep diving in and I'll, I'll do some research and I'll see what games people are playing, but... I guess that's all I can do for now. I can't really do it in this recording, so we'll, we'll do we'll save that conversation for another time. No, I forgot what I was doing. I was talking so long. Oh yeah, I wanted to see the. Let's see if I forgot what this looks like. Hmm. Oh god, no, dude. No, anything but this. Shit. I don't know what kind of guy I am. Or am I a girl? I can't I can't tell. Oh shit, you actually do some shit, bro. Ah, uh, now I'm kinda liking these pixels again for some reason. Wait, do I have a rocket launcher? Oh yeah, I have a fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> Those are always fun to touch. What'd that do? I wonder when this game's gonna first kill me. I always seem to die even on normal difficulty because I'm just chillaxing too much and they catch me by surprise. Oh! You assholes! Oh, you're keep on testing me and I don't know my keep on. Do that to me, we'll waste the small bullets. 
I'm gonna choke down my keybinds there. I forgot. Ah! I don't know, this game. It's got a look to it. It, it probably doesn't look that good on YouTube, but. It looks cool in person. It is kind of different that this game doesn't have a crouch. I kind of wish it had a walk button, though, you know? Not that you really need it, because you can kind of just tap if you want to go slower. Just... Might be interesting. Then again, this game has a lot of guns, and... When shit gets hard, it's nice to have... All your guns were loaded and accessible with your keybind, so. And I imagine if you play it on very hard, you'd like be running into that all the time. So what do we got here? Is this easy? That is easy. No, oh, no, it's not that easy. No, I failed the Oh, they gave me redemption. Oh, fuck. Oh, those do a lot of damage, bro. Why did I let that happen? That had nothing to do with keybinds. So that was just bad gameplay. I feel like if you just use the shotgun, you never run out of ammo. Especially because of that charge. Yeah, is that like a... Fatality there? What is that? I don't know if they explained it, but I don't think they did. Oh shit, acid breath. No, this looks cool, but I, I think I like the 3D models a little bit more sometimes. Mostly because I'm picky with my aim, and it seems a little bit easier to aim, I think. with them a little bit somehow. Oh, Jesus. I can't make that. I probably could just go in with the SMG or minigun and a lot of these and rip kids, but... So I kind of... I like to artificially create my difficulty, mostly. So I don't get the game janking me all the time. Not that this game does it, but just in general. Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, am I supposed to like do some crazy jump? Alright, what's going on here? This is... Oh my god. So the answer was way too easy. I should have just checked for an easy answer. I don't know. That pistol seems better than the shotgun. So you don't have to charge it. You can just spray it. Oh, 
to reload super fast. Holy God. Oh. How'd he get me? Looked like he just shot off in another direction, but I got hurt somehow. Maybe that was a shot from his buddy. Huh? <clears throat> Good old SMG. No spawn for you. Smoky poison. I don't think so, buddy. Ooh, map. Does that like help me see secrets or something? <laughs> it's like no shit, dumbass. Now this is actually kind of interesting. Sea and space? Oh, okay. That might be easier to use with better keyboard. <laughs> Take that though. What's that? I don't know what I killed. Small ammo is really good in this game. Most games like it's it's not the most important ammo to have. Gotta use some some explosives. Well, that's actually kind of good. I mean, sometimes you're going to get hit, but... Now there's like some back... This backtracking that I'm very confused on here. What is this? It's this little niche. Oh, okay. I'll save that for when we come back. Yeah, this is the item hall. Hall of items. Oh, what the fuck did I miss over here, dude? Anything? I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I think I just got lost in this maze and thought maybe there was some extra shit I missed. This is like a secret. It's not like a secret, it is a secret mine. I ain't risking my whole game on this shit. There's a nexus point right there. Shut the fuck up. Bitch. Take a nexus point and shove it up your fucking head. Where where was I going? Oh my god, this is the maziest shit. Now I'm just lost. Does this have something to do with Oh my god, now I know. What the fuck? 
don't know why I got so lost. Okay, there's the goody little secret. Look at that. Fucking little secret. Wait. <laughs> Goes into the secret and misses the pickup. Where, what is this open? Thank you for showing me. You're dead. You are a weak one. You are a weak one. Well, you're bad. Oh, hello. Monstrosity. Monster kill. Oh, shit. Little damage, man. Little damage, me guys. What am I gonna do? Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, Mikey's cracked. Mikey's cracked, they said. No flashlight. Meh. Or maybe there is one and I don't have it bomb. No, see, I love keyboard. Look at me, I'm cracked. For a guy that looks like he or for a guy that never played it, I look you know, I feel like I look like I might be a Fortnite World Cup player. If I care. I like video game. Actions per second. Action factions per second. I definitely was struggling more with Doom Eternal when I was playing it though, so I don't know if this game is easier on the normal difficulty or what. Holy shit, what the fuck is happening? You're done. Oh, I'm done. Let me through. Oh, this is a good time for rockets, Mikey. Well, we've killed the main force. We just gotta finish up these guys. Some refunds. Is there, or is there re -redos? I don't wanna exit. I'm fighting. That was fun. Oh, I think of the secrets I missed, though. So many secrets. So many. At this point, it's pointless to reload or do anything. The match is over. I can't... Ugh, there's so much plasma ammo. They're, like, begging me to buy this fucking plasma gun. It better be the best shit ever. Yeah, I really like this game. This, the slight, like... Not that there's RPG elements, but, the, like, the slight... RPG elements is nice. I don't know when it's gonna be time to buy a new uh, new gun. I don't really like the shop level. I feel like that could have been done in a more heartwarming sort of. It's not bad, but I don't think it's good either. <laughs> A Genesis. A little part two. There's like light story elements. I mean, there could be a little bit more and that would make me happy, but. And then, yeah. All these runes. I see. Yeah, I see. It makes sense. I wish there was a little bit more story inside some of these levels. Like, it wouldn't even have to be a lot. Just, you know, a little bit more. Could take it from being that $40, $40 experience to that $55. Ooh, what the fuck? You're giving us something new? Oh, yeah, dude. Wow, I thought maybe it was... Maybe you'd get a scope later. I don't know. Chaos ammo. Holy shit, that sounds sick. Hey, what's my sniper button? What's my sniper button? Not my best button. <laughs> I do need to learn that key anyway, so that works. I want to see what this is called, though. 
That really... Oh, it's... Is it called a plexus? Okay. I wouldn't have bounded to that key if I knew it was a sniper. Maybe I'll end up liking it. One forty bullets. One thirty. Huh? I didn't think I was gonna do that. Oh, this shit's sick. That guy hurt there. It's like a sniper. I could ever tell. Uh, I'm not paying enough attention. It's like a fucking plasma rifle of awesomeness, dude. Oh, it seems like it does massive headshot damage, even on the little click one, or whatever. The non-scoped in big shot. Well, you feel badass when, they, when you... The noise there is sick. Oh, this gun is so good, bro. What the fuck? And if you did more with it, imagine that, like a sequel to this game or something, and then you, like, custom made it so you could customize the gun. Like, maybe it has a scope, or maybe... Your charge shot is like super fucking crazy or something. It explodes too if you hit hit two guys or something. You know, I don't know. Like, oh, well, that guy died. Cause this gun's already sick. If you did it, if you did anything to make it that next step, is this guy hitting me? Holy, nice shot, bro. Playing Doom Eternal with these sniper sniper boys. Oh, what's this? You can burn for a shitty gun? Is that just a shotgun? I don't think so, sir. Let me see. I want to see how the controller feels if the controller feels so bad. I don't know. You're telling me that... I think these guys just have slow thumbs. I feel like I have even more control over my character now. I picked up the controller for one second. None of these buttons are doing anything. Maybe you can map some shit better on the controller and I don't know how to do it yet. No, I'm bumper jumper by default. That's that's a ballsy decision. B is the map though. How do I reload? Oh. Kind of a weird default Oh wait. It's a wise jump or wait, no, never mind. Why is not jump? Hey, he's jump. I'm pressing my halo buttons. I'm already pressing my halo buttons like I'm playing halo or something. The sensitivity needs to get changed though, that's for sure. Oh, I wonder if I can play... Oh, dude! It works! I'm playing... My left hand's on the controller, my right hand's on my mouse. Bro, this feels sick. I don't know what these people are talking about. I can straight peek just as fast. I'm not like... I'm maybe like very slightly faster. And like I said, you could probably make up for that by binding just one movement key left or right to the, to the Azeron. You could probably be that fast. But it like doesn't matter that much. It's more it more matters if you're gonna hit your shot. It feels different to aim with it when you're moving with a joystick, it feels so different. It like feels better. It, like feels like you have more control over your mouse. 
That's crazy, bro. I'm so glad this game exists, too. Jesus. All right. You could definitely make this work if you just if you did want to play with like a controller and a mouse, you could figure out a way. It might be a little jank, but it'll work. All right, back to mouse and keyboard. Though. No one's saying mouse and keyboard's bad. You could clearly be great on the shit. It's just, is it the best thing ever? I don't know. No, oh, I never turned up my sensitivity though. We'll play a little bit on controller for a second. Aim assist. Disgusting. I'm not playing on hard mode. I don't need that shit. Alright, what do you got here? This game is just impressing all the time. Oh god. <laughs> Struggling to remember the buttons. X use. Uh, I should have paid attention. No, oh, this game is fun on controller too. I don't prefer a controller with a lot of these things. But... I can stop opening the map. No. <laughs> Why isn't it bumper jumper? Asshole. Well, you actually can't control the The binding? I guess you could find a workaround in Steam and shit, but damn. Oh, I was gonna say. Of course they're gonna let you. Menu is kinda cool, it takes a little it's a little different, but Imagine sprinting every time you fuck that. I don't know how these ups and downs and lefts and rights work quite yet, but. Good old bumper jumper, right? Now we gotta crack our sensitivity off for fun. Let's go, baby. Okay, so I... Wait, what? I'll never understand. 
Or I get back to my shotgun easily. I don't know what they're talking about. I could strafe peek like a free gun controller. <laughs> they're just weirdos who suck on controller, I think. <laughs> I always say I'm not trying to offend people when <laughs> I say like the meanest thing ever. No, why do you guys gotta do this to me? Ah, quit shooting me through your buddy. Oh, I remember. One second. So I remember how to use this gun. Weakling. Thanks for kicking my ass though, I guess. I'm gonna go back and get health like a little bitch. bumper doesn't even do anything. I don't understand how the weapon switching works, unfortunately. I don't like going to the menu every time. This is getting hard. Oh, because of you. Well, that my ass is handed to me. You guys, you're lucky I can't switch weapons. This shit will hit me, alright? Perfectly aimed every time. Well, not that shot. What are you shooting at, buddy? Oh my god, those things do a billion damage. Me fucking around got me killed. Well, there's a nexus point. We're good. Right? Oh, I love this game. It's not fucking annoying like Doom Eternal. <laughs> it's Doom Eternal, except in right. With pixel graph. Just a little neat, nooky, nooky, nook. No! This gun is crazy. Is that more? Chaos. Control. Why is that blue? Oh, it's gonna go down, okay. Well, maybe it could already go in or something. Oh, hello. Let 
mean, once you set it up, the controller is fun. I wouldn't play on their settings, though. That shit would be fucking annoying. Look at how you see our. It's just not that good. I mean, maybe you on easy mode for a little kid, maybe. What's that? More shot. <laughs> what did I say like that? Fucking ED. Yeah, you're open now, but I'm afraid about you. Large health. I needed that, dude. Oh, you guys, you guys would. I don't even know if you can make that with a perfect jump. Now, if this game had a somewhat functional crouch jump, that'd be sick. I'm out of chaos control ammo. Honestly, the menu's the way with with the controller. Now, if you had an elite controller and they had some more options, you could maybe make something else work, though. Like a Fortnite sort of weapon switching, I guess. Oh, this rocket just fucks that guy. I'm sitting there taking damage from this guy, like there's no option or something, and the rocket just fucks him the whole time. Last three fights with that guy, too. Oh my god, I love these games, dude. When I was a little kid, I was like too afraid to play this shit, now I just like it. It's made for me. Oh, I'm chilling back. My controller skills are whack right now. Oh, well, hello. You guys are peons. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that that what I got? Is that that what I got? <laughs> I was passing up chaos control ammo before too. The sense is pretty good. I I feel like they could still make it a little bit faster for for weirdos like me who enjoy this type of weird ass shit. Chaos chaos control. See ya, buddies. You're up against the nerd boy. Oh, something shit's about to go down. Nexus. What's happening, guys? Lava. Monsters. Controller's not working. Nah, I'm just making bad decisions because I don't know how to switch weapons, actually. Controller's fine. Got some old goodies back here. Oh, I wish I, no, I kind of wish I bought that plasma gun. They make, they make it real tempting. Cause it's like a whole ammo type that you don't get to use otherwise. It's like a kind of like that design philosophy. Still don't know what the ammos look like, even though I should by now. Whoa! 
The last straggler always wrecks me, bro. Did I not grab that? What the hell am I doing? You probably just run from a lot of this shit, eh? What the fuck? Why did it say that? I just, I'm not having a movement problem with the joystick, so I just don't see... Like, I feel like this movement would work in CSGO, and it would work in... I just think these guys aren't cracked on controller. Like, my controller gameplay looks better than some of these mouse and keyboard players, and... It's harder to aim with no aim assist on controller than... Because you just overshoot everything as hard you don't have as much control. This is a danger button. Better have the big gun out. Oh, fuck. What are you? Oh, we fucked that thing. Is there another one? Oh, you were the backup buddy, eh? Oh, there's more. Definitely a mouse and keyboard game, but it's pretty serviceable on controller, I'd say. And it actually be really fun to play multiplayer, no aim assist. Against like your buddies on and you're all like on crack sensitivities just doing this shit to each other. That'd be so fun, dude. Bumper jumper. Slightly different weapon changing system. Maybe some people are on elite controllers, some people have like special keybind mappings and re-WASD so they can swap weapons easier somehow. Be sick. That's for sure. Because the mechanics here are nice. Oh, we're done? Is that the... Or is there another fight here? So rockets are like that. These are those Duke Nukem rockets that just take down the big boys. One of the only guns that, that's going to do that enough damage that quickly to take down a boss. Are we done here? This level was really good, actually. Some shotgun shots out here. Pressing the wrong button to reload for some reason. Playing Call of Duty in my head. I've been playing Call of Duty in this forever. Call of Booty? Oh, hello. Verticality's a thing? I'll see you peons later. Get pissed on. Shotgun Mikey is here. And he's cracked on controller, baby. I need some work on this charge shot, though. You need to, like, claw a little bit. Whatever, claw the shoulder buttons to do this properly. And those are explosives that would have came in. Here. Seems like I can kill all those guys with a shotgun, and because I did it with a shotgun, I just have lots of ammo and my other stuff. Yeah, my shotgun's gonna get filled up. It's like, it's like that in a lot of fucking Doom games, Doom style games. Are. I hope Quake is as fun as it as I. This game seems really fast though. I feel like it spoils me. I don't know. Should we buy a gun? These invisible walls are a little weird. Maybe they could have just. I don't know. That's just a little campaign level on a fucking $15 game, though. Like, does it really matter? 
Oh my god, the mechanics though, what the hell? I thought maybe I liked dusk sensitivity more because it was super cracked, but this is this is fun to use. That beginning sensitivity is a little I mean it's easier to aim on for a lot of shots, but it's also like a little too slow, I feel. Probably make the game less intimidating to get into for a casual. Uh, let's go here. I'm trying to decide if I want to do another one right now. That was pretty fun. Now do we want that plasma gun? Some of those other powers look sick though. Oh, but there's that... We just opened up that level though. What's that? That's not another fucking challenge, is it? Damn it. Trials. I gotta do that on Monster Keyboard, probably. What's this? An extra level? Doesn't have as many ores as that one. Oh, but these don't. Oh my god, I got none of the ores? I tried so hard, though. Where are these things? You gotta press secret buttons on the walls and shit? What the fuck? Now I feel obligated to go get the ores, bro. There's too many lost ores, though. It'd be cool if there was this shop level, but then you could also just use on the menu, like, the shop. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then maybe in the shop level, if, I don't know, maybe it does do it, but you could, like, have infinite ammo and just, like, putz around and shit. I'm really excited to see what this developer does next. It's, and, the uh, and the Ion Fury, or the next game is called, like, Phantom Fury, but the development studio is different, so I don't know if, how that worked out. I'm assuming Ion Fury was fairly successful, so they're like, well, let's take some of these people and some other people and make a better one. And that's that's what it seems like Phantom Fury's going for. Not that it... It will lose some of the charm of probably that Duke Nukem engine and everything, but it'll gain, like, some Half-Life and... Or whatever it... Fallout vibes, you know? I think that's what it's what they're going for and that so that that's kind of what I'm looking for is like a shooter that's got more of a story some of those I don't know why they call them life sim I don't really consider they're just more like shooters with slight RPG and story elements and puzzle elements it's not really life sim I don't know what the fuck that means <laughs> you know what I mean I will check out this level because I'm having fun but then I'm gonna play a mouse keyboard next time I gotta do that challenge anyway this might be my last time on controller for this. Now, what is this? I, I love this game. It seems underrated, even though know, it's pretty well rated. Like, there's a lot of people who are like, "This game's okay, but it's definitely not a genre leader out of the out of these retro boomer shooters." And I'm just like, "What? Are you guys playing the same game? This is like, I'm getting like a Doom Eternal experience for ten dollars. Like, do you guys value your money at all?" I'm getting, I'm getting a game that's as fun as Doom Eternal for ten dollars. Like, well, how many times do I need to say it here? I'm playing this right now instead of Doom Eternal, and I do want to play Doom Eternal, but I want to play this more. Okay, so we got some backtracky secrets of some kind. Looks interesting. Still want that crouch button for some reason. But I guess sometimes less buttons is good so you're not so fucking strapped for keybinds though. I do think they could do something to remedy the controller situation on here. So you could at least like have a few buttons that are just like the PlayStation 5 pad could be a button that switches to one of your guns and like Instead of the D-pad cycling through guns, it could just swap to your favorite guns. And then maybe the auto you could disable the auto map and not use it and have that as an extra button. That And the right bumper I'm not even using, that could be a button or it could be a, a, a last gun button, which would be really good. 
I just feel like there's a few ways that you could like do some advanced and you could you could put it in a, in a separate menu too where it's like advanced controller settings so that a casual player doesn't have to worry about it you know what I, mean? I just feel like that would be a really good option especially if I was like a controller player who was trying to like be really good at this game on the hardest difficulty I would I would want those options for sure I don't care that much because I'm not taking the controller serious, but if I was, I would definitely want those options. But hey, they weren't far off from, like, perfect, like, this is really good controller gameplay. Bad shot, bad shot. So you really do gotta aim that shotgun pretty well. You're not getting much damage on the spread. This is a key. Yay, we got keys again. I like how the keys aren't in like every level. They, they, you could tell they really put a lot of thought into some of this stuff. They're not trying to like overdo it by copying any one particular thing. Yeah, it's not straight Duke Nukem. It's not straight Doom Eternal or whatever Doom 2016. Default of the shotgun too much. Well, am I supposed to shoot something? Here? Do I get hurt? Damn it, dude. Pistol's just better, bro. Is this like a boss battle? Huh. Oh my god! No, if that guy could, like, fling you into the lava with a special move that he uses sometime, that'd be sick. Get you. I don't know, this game is getting better and better. It works really well on controller. I really haven't been in here. I thought I was in this place. That's, that's just a testament to some solid level design. <laughs> I'm getting so confused. I know I'm not all there. I'm just like chilling, but... Got my feet up. I'm ready to go get some food. Like I'm not really focused on the game right now, but... Okay. Somehow I just got confused. Why this battle confused me? I just—I don't know why I'm talking like an idiot. Somewhere. What's that? Plasma, dude. They're really making this. Like I'm, I'm. They're getting me, man. I'm trying to save up my money, my my ores. I almost want to cheat for some of those ores, bro. What is this? Can't move forward and back fast enough on controller. Fuck you. I don't even have like a dead a dead zone trick thing on my joystick and I'm fucking cracked on the controller movement. You guys are weird. I literally think their thumbs are just stupid so they think it's impossible. <laughs> like I don't mean to be that harsh but that's what it seems like. Because I'm moving around on a game that has very similar mechanics to Doom or like CSGO movement. And I don't feel like my strafing would ever be impacted. I just think they're not that good on the stage. <laughs> 
Like it would be like a like a five percent of the time against top players that that's what would be the what's holding me back. It'd be like a very small thing. They're acting like it was it's like quintessential. I'm like I'm good at your game on controller, bro. I never even tried to be either. So I can imagine somebody who's like me who actually tried. Jeez, that explosion on the... I like how you're like battling this boss through a room over and over. It's like coming at you from different doorways. You got some guys running up behind you while you're fighting them and shit. Somebody like compared this to Doom too, and they were like, "And a YouTube." I don't mean to be mean that, but you know I me. Mean. And he's like comparing it to how like, well, the battles aren't as, ep or aren't as, the AI isn't as good as. And I'm like, the same guy who said Dusk was good. Dusk has like shit AI compared to this game. And I like Dusk. I'm just saying. I think I don't know. This game is more my my kind of thing. Dusk is for, like, little kids who grew up playing Roblox on their Xbox One. And now they're, like, si they're like 16 and they and they think they're funny because they like Five Nights at Freddy's and they like Roblox and they like Dusk. <laughs> like, I don't know. Is that true? I feel like that's true. Where am I going now? I just keep going places and getting well. Thank you. That's a shortcut, right? No. Yes? I don't know how good headshots are in this game. Oh, man. Do I need double jump? Aww. Wins. Arc rail? What the fuck is this? Wait, what? Oh, is this the arc rail? Must be. Wait, now I'm lost again. Oh, this is my blue door room. I think I went in like a circle. I walked in here. You're telling me there's nothing else in here? You gave me a nexus point I didn't need. No wonder I'm confused. Okay, let's go. Can't do, can't do that. One thing is, like, I feel like I always have to peak battle. Like, running in here is just like suicide somehow. Like, you're bound to fuck up and get hit by something. Yep, see? Okay. Should have just peak charge shotgun him, but I didn't want to be that lame. It gets me fucked up. I don't know, because the enemies, like. It seems like they hit you less when you shoot at them, it seems like it's. See like how he like stops shooting at me when I hit him? It just seems like the pistol's better a lot of the times. And then the shotgun's like for peaks. Well there's gotta be a secret somewhere, man. Shit. See, like, if that was a 3D model, I think I would have noticed that a little bit. V 
Void Reaper. That's a pretty badass move. I guess my pistol was doing some work on him. This is a cool level. Are you telling me fan-made levels can be this intricate? I might have to get a job in game design if that's the case. Am I right? If a fan level could be like near this level of intricacy? This is this is pretty much easily the best level so far as well. Get you guys cleaned up. Oh, there's guys everywhere, bro. What's this? Well, this calls for some some Mikey action. Ju 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 gun. What is this? I think that's a big pack of this shit. Dude, they put enemies everywhere in this section. I, yeah, maybe the Nexus system could be done slightly differently. And it may be a little bit more be effective, a little bit more better. Mm -hmm. I seen here. Damn, he's got a hit scan gun or what's going on? I'll have to come back with double jump for some shit, I feel like. I'm not gonna do that too much, but maybe I can do some lockdown lifted. Oh, we got the blue key, and that's the end of the level. A oh, pretty nice little level here. I'll imagine that with a couple more keys. God damn. Oh, let's go. Three hundred out of three hundred, so I have. Oh, okay, I got it. Stop getting confused about that same thing over and over. Oh, I like how the exit stays there, so if you're lost and you finish the level and you're just putzing around, like it helps you back. Because you already technically beat the level, you're just... You might get a little lost in the sauce afterwards, looking for secrets and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, man. They get the game, the more I play it, I just... I don't see how someone could say some of the shit-ass things they said about it. Maybe I'm just too, uh... Sentimental with the games I like. Or whatever. And that was just like a little side level, that was good. Oh, and they got extra paths. Nice. So you could go a different route if you didn't want. If you didn't want to play all of them, and you were busy and you just wanted to get through the game for a quick playthrough. It's a nice touch. And if the game was a little bigger, they could have probably afford to put some secret levels in. And then give you some hint on how to unlock them or something. That'd be cool too. Yeah, this is a really good game design. It has more potential than what the dusk dusks designed, in my opinion. Dusk definitely has some things about it, like the setting and the 
the feeling that you're playing a game from the 64 and there's a couple things about dust that it definitely does well but I don't know it might be too quick to say but this game just this game has been hitting it's just hard to say that there's it's not hard to fault this game not sound like a fucking backwards ass idiot anyways it'll be fun to check out this game on Azeron I kinda wanna I think I'm gonna play some other games so I, that I have more of this to play on the Azeron as well if that makes sense I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some other games for the for the Black Friday Steam sale or whatever the autumn Steam sale even though it's like winter now I have a winter sale and I have a winter two. Autumn and winter. Winter and winter two. Um, but yeah, we'll be back with some more Proteus soon. This game is sick. I really wish I had some more hard drive space so I could. Uh, you have Doom and Do Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, but those games are like massive. I need to do some work on that. It sucks, but I'll figure something out. And that'll be most of my holiday buys. We're going to get some other cool stuff uh, around Christmas time. Maybe I'll talk about those. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I probably won't do too many commentaries until I get after I get the Azeron and get going on there. So... See you guys then. Peace out.